Bad doggy. Give me back my key. I gotta go say um save Ume quick. Huh? Ah, uh, Kokari, you're not that bright, are you? Ume, is that you? <laughs> Ume looks dead. <laughs> are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? It must have been so scary all alone. Nah, nothing that 20 feet flying through the air won't hurt and possibly breaking a few ribs. What's wrong, Ume? About your dog, kid. He was deep within the ruins, and he didn't seem to want to leave. Really? How come, Ume? You mad at me for running away without you? You got it all wrong, kid. You only think you left your dog behind. Truth is, he decided to stay at the ruins himself. He did? But why? Maybe he was trying to set an example by showing you how anyone, even a dog, could have an adventure. Look at it this way. There's not much separating a boy from a man. They grow up before you know it and accomplish great things. I see. So, I guess you knew everything, Ume. Like how my dad told me to go fix the bridge destroyed by the storm, and how I tried to get out of it because I was scared of failing. But your fearless adventure has changed me. You've given me the courage to stop shirking responsibility. My dad's fishing pole. I lost that in the forest some time ago. Did you sniff it out in those ruins? All by yourself? Well, I'm gonna fix that, that bridge all by myself. Boy, is Dad sure gonna be surprised. That he is. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Okami. Last episode we defeated the Spider Queen and oddly enough it doesn't seem like we rescued Ume at all. It seems Ume wanted to be there. Maybe he wanted Kokari to come in, in and rescue him. To teach him the lesson that he needed. But... I guess that lesson was taught to Kokari anyway. Now, before we get things started, I want to just grab this chest because <laughs> I ignored it for some reason. I have no idea why I did. I didn't. I had no point for ignoring it. There's no reason. I just did. But it's not like a worthwhile collectible, so it's not like I've missed out on something. So, this episode, before we progress in the storyline, we have a couple of collectibles to collect a couple in Agata Forest and then there is one in Kamiki Village. I think I'm going to cover the ones in whoa. <laughs> I think I'm going to cover the ones in Agata Forest first since we're already here. No sense in leaving just to bounce right back, right? So, I'm going to go ahead and cover those. After the collectibles are done, I'll just restock at the nearest store and we can head on into the new area, which is by the river that the bridge was gone. We could have gone there a lot earlier, but the bridge wasn't there yet, and I don't know, maybe the bridge is done by now? <laughs> in the f in the two minutes that we've been, that uh, Kokari's been gone, so we'll check on, on them a little bit later in the episode. For now, we have a stray bead to collect. Over here with all this water and all of these trees, you want to jump up here, and you don't have to jump, I just like jumping and vine your way up here. We've seen this bead before. It's on top of that branch. And so that's one of the last two in Agta Forest. You want to vine on over here to get a bullhorn while you're at it. That's really nice, a nice free 3,000 yen. And then the last one is over here. Oh wait, it's not the last one of the area. There's, I believe, one more. But, it's the last one we can collect right now in Octa Forest. Let's see, where is it? Map. It's this way, okay. So, it's up by Hitoshio Springs. All the way up to the top, there is a tree up there that has a Konohana Blossom near it. And we can vine up there and grab it. I, I am using a guide for all of these. But, for the most part, I'm actually going off my memory. And did I not get that clover? Oh, we can't get it, okay. Oh, this is kind of, this is nice. This is cool. Uh, I can't. I have to power slash this chest. 
but that's no biggie because we have the stray bead. Now, the last stray bead I'm going to be get collecting for this video is in Kamiki Village, so I'm actually going to go ahead and cut on over there. So, I will be right back after I run through this very long tunnel, which is actually very pretty. It actually looks like a big spider has been climbing through here, which it's possible. And here we are in Kamiki Village. It's as beautiful as always. And by always, I mean since we s bloomed the Konohana tree. So, right off, I want to go ahead and jump up here, which I missed this much earlier. This was this area right here was actually accessible to us from the second episode onward. So, I should have taken advantage of that and gotten this exorcism slip S, but I just didn't know it was here. Uh, another place? No, there's no clover. I thought there was a clover up here. But where the stray bead actually is, is over here by the waterfall. You will see a Konohana blossom way up high, all the way up there, and you want to fail. No, you want to vine to it. Game. Game. There we go. You want to vine to it, and the stray bead is actually not up here. I fooled you. There is actually a clover, which we want to grab, but this is along the way for the stray bead, so I don't feel like I am sidetracking too much. So now that we have this praise, I want to jump off here, and then there is another Konohana Blossom all the way up there that will bring us to the very tippy top of the waterfall. Props to me for saying tippy top in a toddler's voice. So up here at the top of the waterfall is the stray bead, last stray bead I might add, of Kamiki Village. And that is it. That's all of the stray beads for Kamiki. And all of them for this video, maybe? No, probably not. We might have one more, I don't know. So, I'll actually meet you back to Agata Forest. I Actually, no, no, no. We have one more thing. And I'm actually going to speed up. I will meet... Whoa. I <laughs> collided with a house. Insurance does not cover that. Uh, I want to. I will cut up to the Konohana tree because there's something special to be found up there. So, I'll be right back. I know there's a lot of cutting this video, but I feel like it's necessary because I want you guys to see some progress done this video, and that won't happen unless I have frequent cuts. So, what we want to do is now that we have sprouted another guardian sapling, we want to return here to get some fruit and also this, which I didn't know this existed prior to a previous take. <laughs> yeah, I have to throw that in. I have to be honest that this is my second take of the episode. It's My last take was more of a practice run. I do practice episodes sometimes just, just to get the feel of like new areas if we're going to them, and this was one of those. So, yeah, I just wanted to make sure, because otherwise if I go into a new area and don't know what, what's in there, since I'm not using a guide for this game other than collectibles, I will just be wandering around for the entire episode, and it's really frustrating to watch and to do. So, I've been leaving this pretty lady, Sakuya, waiting long enough, so I guess I'll just let her talk. Ah, Okami Amaterasu, beloved mother to us all. I am flattered that you have judged my prayers worthy. The vile creatures that threaten our world are growing in strength. It is of the utmost importance that we exercise great caution. As you rejuvenate each guardian sapling, I sprout a new fruit. These are known as Guardian Fruit. I think she just loves putting Guardian before names. They contain wondrous treasures that I am honored to offer you. Each time you revive a sapling, you may return to Kamiki for more. Here, receive my offering. Your journey will be a long one, but perhaps this will aid you. May the fresh scent of flowers protect you always. With her blessing, we can continue on. Got that for ball, revive a sapling and get some fruit. Don't be shy, there's nothing like a present from hot, babe. <laughs> uh, I did say she was pretty, which that was a little bit forward of me. Sorry, uh, Sakuya. I'm <laughs> I'm not going to take that any further. I'm sorry. I, I called her pretty, then that nothing can be read out of that. If a woman's pretty, you tell her she's pretty, or else she'll think she's not. Rule number one, happy wife, happy life. But that actually applies to every single woman in the world. So if you want to stay living... You want to make the, the ladies happy. <laughs> uh, dating advice with your buddy, pal. <laughs> uh, well, actually, fun fact, as I run back without actually cutting like I said I should. Fun fact about the meaning of paladin is it means someone, a knight who fights for what's right, which rhymes, sort of. And that's pretty cool, except in the terms of today's society, 
and that is White Knight. Yep, so my name literally means White Knight. Wait, Knight? Where'd I get Knight? Oh, wait, yeah, that Knight. Derp. I quickly, I suddenly forgot what knight meant. Wow, okay. Well, before I make any more strange stammers and strange speech mess-ups, and before I yell at Ida for not having a side quest open yet, I'm going to go ahead and cut to Agatha Forest, even though we're right next to it, just because I want to get this mo video moving along, so I will meet you there. Be right tobacco sauce. Alright, I'm back. Off screen, though it's not off screen because I'm showing you on screen what I did right now. I just restocked on some of our feed bags. I didn't buy anything besides feed bags, but for the first time in the LP, I restocked all of them up to 10 feed bags apiece. Yes, including the fish ones. For some reason, I felt like I'd splurge on fish, but it's probably because when I sold all of my treasures, I made like uh, 10,000 yen or something like that. So, I, I felt like it was a worthwhile reward to stock up on feed bags. So, with those feed bags in tow being stored mysteriously somewhere on our canineum? I'm trying to think of person, but... Pers actually, no, person. It's not specifically human. So, somewhere on my person are a bunch of feed bags. I don't know, maybe they're like... I don't know, hovering above us? Maybe we have Tingle or something? Sorry, wrong game. So, let's go ahead and check on Kokari, because these are, wow, these are raging rivers indeed, wow. Let's see what he's up to. I don't know how he's planning on fixing this bridge. Hey! Well, I guess that works. I lassoed the rope to the other side. Look! Hey, you there, get that rope out of my way! Uh, that's not good. What is he doing? Huh? Susano? What's going on? My new secret technique! Imploding barrel flying monkeys was a flop! <laughs> uh, imploding- oh my word, he's, uh, Susano. I ended up being washed downstream on this tree trunk! Here he comes! Hold down to that fishing pole, kid! No, wait! Let go of it! Uh, this seems like there's a problem. This very, seems very problematic. No, you guys, I said let go! Uh, they do realize what's going to happen, right? We're going to be launched- oh no, into the air. Oh boy, why was Isun launched into the air? He wasn't even touching us. Ami, use your celestial brush, quick! Uh, this is sort of a quick time event. You want to latch on to these Konohana Blossoms that you'll see, you want to have very fast reaction times, reaction time, like, like, that! Uh, barely. The, the, the camera will cycle off screen, like, the camera will cycle different sides of the river off screen, so you want to be very careful of that. I barely got that one, and I got this one, and, and, oh! I got this one, there we have one left, oh, I missed it, and... We also have a time limit, which is bad. And we have this done. Whew! That actually went very smoothly. Hopefully that'll be enough. Oh, barely! Man, that was close. We almost went creening to our death. Ha <laughs> ha! Ume! <laughs> uh, Ume. Hey, Kokari, you have an adventure? Did you like it? It was your first, right? I know, mine was the first. I love you, master. Oh, he's so happy. So happy. Whew, I thought we were goners. Did I really make an NCS re reference right there? Oh, man, I love you, NCS. But it all worked out. Just look at that new bridge. Yeah. Did I do that? <laughs> That's right. It was all you, kid. Hey, he was the one who decided not to let go. I don't know what was eating you, but... You'll never get anywhere in life running from adventure. You should thank your doggy for teaching you that. I couldn't have done it without you, Ume. Aww. Dogs can hug. Also, is Ume a girl? Because she has a flower. Or he. I don't know. Hey, where'd Pops go? I'm sure it'd take more than that to kill the, kill the guy. He's bound to pop up somewhere again. 
Oh, Susano. I feel like he's that awkward uncle that always does the crazy stuff, like jumps off bridges. Man, my youth pastor once jumped off the roof of of his house when he was a kid. A two-story roof, I might add. <sighs> yeah. Susano just seems like that awkward guy that you know that just does crazy stuff. And you love him, but you kind of have to look after him because he doesn't know how to look after himself. Well, this bridge is complete, so I guess we can head across here. Can I use... No, I can't. Okay. I thought I could use vine. Yeah, there's a pile of leaves there. Man, is... <laughs> Is Karude going to be proud of Kokari? He's going to be like, Hey, kid, how'd you do this? And he's like, Well, I just carried this tree over here, and I chopped it up with my hands, or the fishing pole, and I did good, dog. <laughs> when I can't think of anything to say, I usually substitute a dog in there. I don't know why. Taka Pass lies ahead. Great Plains in the mountains. Let's prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. Well, let's get going, you big furball. Taka Pass, which has succumbed to the same evil that Agata Forest and Shinshu Field and Kamiki Village have. So, Taka Pass has been cursed too. Seems to be a trend thus far. I bet we'll find a withered guardian sapling around here also has been the trend. Although it's not a bad trend, because it's not, it's not something that's been done over and over and over and over again well i'm sorry it has been but it's done in a beautiful way it's fine if you <laughs> it's fine if you do things over and over as long as you do them in a beautiful way with a very cute protagonist so cute actually wait whoa i just realized looking at ami that i never equipped our new weapon well that's gotta change first of all let's upgrade it because we we have that capability and let's equip it. Why did I not do this? Okay, uh, Snarling Beast is going to be our main weapon, and we're going to have the Devout Beads as a sub. I think that'll work. I'm s oh man, I, I regret that. The regrets are strong. The cringes are high. But there it is. Very nice. It's pretty. It looks like a sundial or something. It's nice. It looks... Actually, no, it looks, it looks more like a ship wheel, like a ship steering wheel than anything. I don't know where I got Sundial. Yo! You two! Green dude! And... <laughs> Gord head! <laughs> tea Master! Oh, what's going to become of- let's see, what would be a good thing for a Tea Master? That confounded curse zone is causing all sorts of trouble. I know that the British got their tea from, Chi from China and Japan, but why not? English accent. Initiate. And my most pr most precious tool of the trade has gone missing too. I just don't know how I'm going to make a living anymore. No doubt this is the work of those mischievous moles. I bet they're the ones who stole from me. On top of that, I have to put up with that awful curse zone. And I have rain above my head, which is a big drag. <laughs> okay, tea customer who's green. I guess he drinks a lot of green tea. Uh, voice for him. Uh, let's see. I wonder what's become of Kusa Village now. It's up on Mount Kamiji where the big windmill is. I heard some terrifying growls coming from the shrine there. Hopefully my voices aren't annoying you guys. Cause nah, I'll just switch into normal one because you guys probably get tired of my voices. I don't know. And I ran down the mountain as fast as my legs would carry me. Then I realized that this area was all cursed, too. I never imagined that monsters would come anywhere near us. It looks like the end of the world is finally here. Well, that's not good. I wonder what's become of Kusa Village up on Mount Kamiji. There was some terrifying growls coming from the shrine there. And th this area is all cursed, too. I only have one had one little errand to run in Kusa. But now I can't even get past the city checkpoint to go home. Man. Trials and Tribulation. They breed character, and character produces perseverance, and perseverance produces hope. And I am that hope! Da 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 da! Wonderful segues. Uh, this guy I know has nothing for us. He has a couple new items. He has an Exorcism Slip L and a uh, Holy Bone L, but I'm not interested in those because they're like 15,000 yen, and I only have 33. So I don't want to buy those. Though, if you guys are playing along and you want those items, go ahead! And if you guys haven't succumbed to the uh, the RPG syndrome where you'd never spend any money, 
or items or any of that. Okay. This area is all empty, so I guess we can't do anything here. But, whoa, rocks. We can bomb them. We, c we can't go anywhere else, so I guess the rocks are the only thing. To the famous tree, Cherry Breeze. Tree, huh? I wonder if it's one of those saplings. Well, stars above. Man, I, why do I keep making that same exact Kung Pao reference? I've never even watched Kung Pao. I just know the reference. Okay, well, we might as well have this bomb <laughs> on the rocks. <laughs> oh, the puns. The puns. I'm punishing you guys because your ears are punching bags. <laughs> My puns puncture your ear. Okay, I'm going to stop. <laughs> Man, those puns were just bad. Uh, I don't know what went into me. I don't really do puns that much on the channel. But I know who do still also doesn't do puns, but is still equally awesome. Hark! The call of the heavens, the earth, the sea! They summon me forth to defeat evil! We know you! Oh man, he's so cool. I want his clothes. I actually, I don't want his clothes. <laughs> Waka, the god's gift to man is here! Bonjour! We already met you. You again! Long time no see! Did you enjoy the little log adventure I prophesized? Oh yes, I forgot about that. Remember he said, I foresee a log and big thrills. Yeah, so he predicted that. I guess he's sort of the real thing. Why you? Were you behind that near disaster? Moi? Of course not. I just had a fleeting glimpse of your future. You see, I have the power that I see I have the power to see that which has yet to come. Even as I even if it were something you'd rather not know. The half-baked prophet added it, ugh, The half-baked prophet's at it again. <laughs> half-baked prophet. If you're so great, then how come you didn't predict Orochi's return? Oh snap, shots fired. Manny soon. <laughs> What's wrong? Cat got your tongue? Or rather, wolf? Excusez-moi. You say something, my little bouncing friend? That's it! By the way, I saw your battle with the spider lady. Oh. A rather clumsy attempt, attempt I must say. How could a washed-up old wolf like you possibly expect to save the world? Ridiculous! What? You were spying on our battle? And it never crossed your mind that you could help out? Enough talk! There's only one way to settle this! <laughs> Kung Fu Panda, enough talk! Let's fight! Just go for it! Another Capcom reference which escapes me! So, starting off this battle, we have Waka once again, but we also have Ha! Smar Smarling, no, Snarling Beast! It has Ink Bullet Power, which is sort of a new brush technique. Basically what you do is if you draw dots on the enemy you want to hit, so just keep dotting them, you can dot them pretty much forever. Oh, maybe you can't. You will shoot a bunch of bullets. Heh. <laughs> Ink bullets. No no snap. So uh, this battle is actually much, much the same as before. And I have to get, re get used to... Ooh, thing. The reflectors. Now also, as a sub, our rosaries can be shot like a machine gun by pressing Z and then after that pressing C. So you want to do that a lot. Now this battle I actually think is a lot easier because... You don't actually have to deal with the water. Although you should still should be on your toes and be ready to use fleet foot like so. That was so cool. Uh, there we go. That was cool. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Whoa, whoa, I didn't see that. Okay, he's apparently uh, Darth Sidious from Star Wars. There we go. Nice. Uh, whoa. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Let me go ahead and shoot you. And get some uh, ink bullet going up here to possibly interrupt his attack. Now, something I like doing with battles, now that we have Cherry Bomb, 
I like using them as a barrier of sorts. Put a cherry bomb in between you and your enemy, and it will block off one of their pads. So if they come near you, it will hit them and stun them like that. I'm not actually sure if it stunned them. Okay, I want to uh, th do this. Oh, he hit me. Okay. Oh, he has this attack. I forgot. Ow. Uh, Waka. One, two. There we go. One, two. Buckle my shoe. This battle's going kind of slow, but this will speed things up. Let's go ahead and power slash him. Because I, I feel like that does more damage. Okay, let me go ahead and summon another cherry bomb so I can show you what I'm talking about. That did stun him, and he's going to throw another dagger, which... I, whoa! I missed because I'm bad. Oi! Did, did that hit me? No, it did not. Good. Okay, it's actually not a dagger. It's his other sword. It just it looks like a dagger. Because why would he throw away his other sword? He's so scary. Okay, I wish I had my... My, uh, sub-reflector. I kind of miss it. Uh, there we go. That's perfect. Die. One, two, three, and... Four. Oh, I lost my ink. I lost my ink. I lost my ink. Don't lose my ink. Get my ink back. Thank you. Nice. Okay, I, I'm good as long as he doesn't use that stabby combo that he does. That flying around, uh, Shadow Ganon combo from... Ocarina of Time 3D. I don't think it's actually in the main game. In the original game. Which is interesting. Okay, he's going to throw his sword again, which is a very predictable technique. He should really drop that technique. That is n has never helped him. But that's all in our advantage because we defeat him. defeated him. <sighs> not bad, Mashare. Oh, so he's actually out of breath. What do you mean, not bad? You're all out of breath, which you would have been the first battle had you not cheated and walked on water. What do you want, anyway? I had a feeling he'd bounce back. Oh, I almost forgot. I, have a, I had a question for you. Have you been to Lake Harami over on Shinshu Field yet? In the middle stands the Moon Cave, where Orochi's spirit was trapped. A barrier has blocked the entrance ever since Tsukiyomi was removed. Yes, I remember that well. That means Orochi must still be in there. Hmm. I want to get through the barrier and enter the cave. But I'll need the Serpent Crystal in order to do that. Serpent Crystal? You wouldn't happen to know where I could find it, would you? Why do you have to pull out your sword just to ask that? And why do you want to visit Orochi's lair anyway? So then, you do not know. Today's bien, which I have no idea what that means. My mom probably knows. She she used to know. She might know. My bleh, she might still know French. I'll have to ask her. I'll put it on screen right now. Hmm. So that big windmill. Mumble mumble. Holds the key. At any rate, I'll just have to find it myself. But before I bid you adieu, I have a prophecy for you. Oh yeah. I foresee a doggone give it difficult quest. Au revoir, baby. Yes, I realize what that word actually means, doggone, but it was a pun. So I I decided to roll with it. If I offended any of you, I apologize, but yeah. <laughs> really, that's like the most mild language you'll ever hear, but I, I, I never say it anyway, so it makes me uncomfortable probably more than it makes you guys. Okay, hey, Ami. Let's try and beat that Waka to that ser Serpent Crystal. I can't help feeling he's up to no good. Plus, we just might find a new Celestial Brush technique, too. <sighs> you? Yeah, meh, 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 meh. I'm not satisfied with our boss battles thus far. I think... I'm not sure, but I feel like I'm doing extremely well, but... For some reason, it's just not good enough. I don't know. Maybe I just am not quite good at, uh, as good at this game as I thought. All right, we have a stray bead to collect before I end off the video. You see these bubbles in this pool? What you want to do is power slash where they're coming out from, and there's a chest down there, even though you can't see it, and there will be a stray bead that will float to the surface. So, with that out of the way, I think we're going to end it off by heading up here. I have no idea what's up here, but I'm feeling it's immaculate, whatever... No, not immaculate. Exquisite. That's a better term. And we can power slash this. 
Okay, there's nothing else for us in this room, so I think... Actually, no, wait. Map? Oh, okay, there's no map transition. Good. Okay, so once I'm going... I go by here, hopefully there's a save mirror? Maybe? There's water here. Save mirror? Mirror? Save? Save of mirrors? No? I'm sure... Sh surely I'm near a mirror. Oh, wow, I'm only up to the side of the map. Okay. Well... Snap. Uh, I can see the Guardian Sapling over there. You know what? We're going to save that for next episode. Thank you so much for watching. And next time in Okami, I will bloom that Guardian Sapling and we can explore... Where are we again? <laughs> uh, Taka Pass a little bit more. I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes, like today, if today's Saturday, I've, I've actually lost track, because when I get behind on episodes like I am now, I start recording and editing and uploading one episode every single day, it's just to get caught up, and today's one of those times, so I have no idea when anything else is, so I, I went a little bit long, I went to 35 minutes on my timer, just to be sure, so yeah, okay. I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Okami where I jump down here! Next to the save mirror. This origin mirror. See you guys next time.